Hi, my name is Tiag Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Telepits. In this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to Camel Crash and I'm going to talk a little bit about the parameters and the knobs and the, fun the features and functions that we have in this amazing plugin. So Camel Crash is basically a compression and distortion plugin and um, it's a very simple plugin to use but also very powerful and just uh, as a curiosity, this was uh, Camel Crush was bought by Apple in, I think, 2018. So uh, it tells you that uh, it's a, a good, uh, a good uh, plugin to have in your arsenal of production. And if you go, for instance, here to the About or Readme page, actually the Readme page or Readme manual, you will be redirect to Apple uh, and to buy a copy of um, Logic Pro X. So that's a good thing. So let's go and start talking about here the some of the knobs and things that we have here. We have a patch, and as you already see, we can have we have several presets that we can start using, and that we can base our own. Um, we can we can have a starting point, I guess, and uh, also we can save banks and save presets and all this stuff. We also have a randomized button that we can add some a different flavor and try different things. If uh, we want to get out of uh, thinking, uh, we can just um, apply through the randomizer and we can have some really cool parameters and it might you might find something that you like. Then we have a distortion section with two knobs. This one here too is for a more analog uh, style of compression. And then this mesh or mesh, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but uh, this one gives a more um, a digital di type of distortion, a more modern distortion. And then we can enable and disable the distortion section. Then we have a filter section with just two knobs. And this is a low pass filter. And again, we can enable by clicking here. And we can change the cutoff frequency. And we also have a resonance that we can add here. That's a very simple filter. Then we have the compressor. And this is also a very simple compressor. We just have the amount knob and the fat mode. And this fat mode really beefs up the compression and you will see some of the examples. And then we have here the master. If I disable the master, then all the, the processing by Camel Crusher is bypassed. And if I enable this, then we have here a, a output volume that we can set even to zero dBs or to completely silent. And then we also have a mix knob that wet, where we can just um, bring up uh, the, the mix level to mix up, to have some parallel compression, for example. So I have a, a drum loop set up here. And let's go uh, start, let's start with the filter. And as you can see, whenever I, Play around here with the cutoff, we are cutting off the low frequencies or the high frequencies of the sound, and we can even add here some resonance. Okay, so this is a very simple section, and um, again, for instance, if I apply this, I can bypass this, or here I can bypass everything that I have in these three sections. And of course, we can also mix this up if we want full mix or some, some parallel processing. Let's go now to the distortion here and uh, let's see the tube distortion. As you can hear, it gives us some really cool distortion, a very uh, old school type or more warm type of distortion here. And here with the mesh, you see it's a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more harsh. So you can mix both to have a little bit of the nice analog distortion and the more modern and digital distortion here with the mesh. And of course, we can mix this up to get the desired sound that we want. And lastly, but not least, we have the compressor here. And as you can hear, it starts to bring up the, the volume of the 
the drums, start adding some compression. And at some point we start to get some distortion also, because we are compressing too much the sound. And then we also have this fat mode. And here you can pretty much hear in the kick, mostly in the kick, in this example of course. when we get a little bit more extra distortion is uh, when we apply the fat mode. We can hear a little bit of distortion. So let's go ahead and play around here with the randomizer to see what, what can we, we get with uh, this type of um, um, random uh, parameters. Let's turn everything on. have to play around with the volume otherwise it might blow our drums or ear drums and speakers and headphones yeah so this is a very simple plugin but it's also very good especially for drums it's a plugin that I've been that I've been using a lot uh, in my productions to get my my drums a little bit more fat especially with the distortion and compression you can dial a really cool amount of distortion here with the tube if you want a more analog type of um, or a more tube and analog type of compression or distortion. And here to, to beef it up, beef up the, the drums, we can add a little bit of compression. And of course, we can still mix uh, the volume, which is really nice, or the processing, the distortion and compression and even the filter. We can mix it here to have a more kind of like a, a parallel processing of the entire uh, distortion and compression and filtering. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.